And I was taking them out. I really am not gonna focus on my global transfer network in this uh, transfer window. I'm gonna like set that up after we start like getting really into the games. And I did get some mixed feedback about the first episode, but it's okay. Is this episode is gonna be better? And I'm in. I really just want to try and not really be too specific because I already like tried to test this out just to see how I was like. That's why it's for such a hard long episode, the long time to get it up yesterday. So yeah, I'm just gonna make it really broad for the USA. I do want to bring in a US talent, a winger, and a center back. Doesn't matter. Just a winger that can pace the wings would be absolutely amazing because all I have is Blasher right now that's gonna be staying on the team pretty much planning on taking uh, trying to sell Grobs Kreutz because I really don't want him he's too I just don't wanna I need better players just put it that way and I want a center back because I've got Subatich right now I've got Hummels and I've got Socrates and I don't know if Socrates is gonna be a, a bust or not so I've got to get another center back and they see they have all these like things, but here's my inquiry. And <laughs> the Shalk just straight up told me they don't even want to sell him to me. That's a mess. They're like, we must inform you that we are not interested in selling Je Jefferson Farfan to you. That is cold. <laughs> That's messed. And now here, introducing the Global Transfer Network. And my only scout that I'm sending out right now, because I just really want to get through this transfer window, start with the gameplay. A little bit because then I can really build the transfer network and I did offer Robert Lewandowski a contract so that he would stay at Dortmund because of rumors in real life and probably in this game that he wants to leave Dortmund after this next transfer season he wants to go to Bayern Munich but I've just secured him for four years even though he I'm only in it I don't know this series is mixed. If I get really good feedback from the subs and they say I want to see season two, if we don't end up making it to the Champions League final, trust me, I haven't recorded up that far. But world class is not easy. And see, my scout has came up with a couple guys, but there's transfer offers coming in. Sven Bender, oh, this is Kevin Grobskreutz, Cardiff City offer four four million four million eight hundred thousand dollars. And I say, if you give me 7,500, 75, 7.5 mil, I'll give him to you. You can have him. Calgary wants Sven Ben. I say, if you give me 10 million, if you give me, how much? I think I said 11 million. 11.5 million, I'll give you Sven Bender. He's all yours. You could take him. That's the deal I told, sent to Calgary. And, wow, my best guy has already given up on the United States. That's utterly disappointing I think this will work better during the season when guys start playing and showing up though it will fit my description even though it's a weak description it will fit it more and I will probably try to find another Warsaw born or a, just a Poland in general Robert Lewandowski and then Kevin Grobskreutz they say we'll give you seven million I say no I'll say okay give me eight million and you can have Kevin Grobskreutz he's all yours take him He's all yours. I didn't really want to put up too many guys for the transfer because I wanted to give him a chance on this team. And Dorman as is, is just a strong side on itself. They already have pretty much all this. The defense is shored up. Subtitch Hummels, Csek, and my least favorite player of the team, Marcel Smelter. But he is one of the best in the one of the best left backs. Pretty much, he's up there in the top in Europe. And then Cardiff City says yes, we'll match your 8 million asking price for Kevin Grobskreutz. So he's already out of Dortmund pretty much. And then Calgary doesn't like my Sven Bender 11.5 million. Well that's what I need 
for Sven Bender. He is a really good player, but he's just too slow for a center defensive man. I want a guy with around the speed of Gundogan. I don't know how you guys want to pronounce that. I may just have to go on the internet and find out how to pronounce this, boy. And now we find Matt Bessler, a center back from Sporting KC. So that's nice to hear. But since we sold, already sold Kevin Grobs, of course, we've got to go out and sign a man. And Jefferson Farfan, we're off for shock $22 million, even though they've already said they don't want him. Actually, we're going to raise it up to $28 million. We really want Jefferson Farfan. I really didn't check, but I thought he could play both sides. He doesn't play left mid. He only plays right mid, but I did end up sticking him to left mid. Let's see. But we'll just try him out. If we sign him, we'll see how it goes. And that's pretty much... And then this... Okay, Nevin Subotich, we had an offer from Spurs for 18 million. And we say, you give me... I told him, you give me 36 million. Double your offer, and we'll take... Subatage. Oh, no. No, I thought that would drive Spurs away. Are you kidding me? Spurs have bought Nevin Subatage for $36 million. I do dollars because I'm US. I don't know the pounds conversion. I just went with dollars. And we're already offering a contract to Jefferson Farfan. But that does not matter. We just lost Nevin Subatage. Oh, my God. You, in FIFA 12, I already tried out with a different team. I said, okay. In that game, you could drive away teams by doubling the offer and just making the offer ridiculous. So they wouldn't want to buy him. So, that was such a shocker. We had to go out and get a defender. I know we've got Socrates. And we're looking to sign, and we're looking to get some stats on Matt Matt Besser from Sporting KC. But we've got to pick up another center back. We're gonna be rotating. We need another center back because, first of all, these guys we're gonna be playing huge matches, the Champions League. We're gonna be playing a lot of big matches and uh, internet and cup state and cut matches we've got to get another center back so that we can take out hummels and still not have some 69 overall new in the back trying to hold the four for borussia Dortmund. so we look at leonardo Bonucci, and i was thinking i was contemplating but i said no he looks i think he's a new signing anyways so we really couldn't get him so i said no to juventus if we're, not, we're just not going to deal with Juventus at this time. We're going to search for some, anyone else, somebody else. Please, please. And then we found, we're at Milan, and we see they've got a lot of center backs. They've got five, six center backs. And I see Christian Zapata, and I say, why not? This guy is young. He's 26. Well, he's not young, but he's 26. If I end up doing two seasons, I think he's going to develop into a beast, and then... Subatich is gone. They have agreed on personal terms. And somehow Spurs, even though they said we'll give you 18 million, I doubled it and they still took Subatich. They took Subatich. I even though Subatich is not my... F He's probably my second least favorite player other than Smelter on Dortmund. I still love the whole squad. I would really, I really wanted to keep Subatich and try him out. Give him a chance at FIFA 14. That's not going to happen. It's a friendly against Atletico Madrid. And we've got Gundogan already getting a yellow card. Come on. We don't need yellow cards from you, but Lewandowski puts it into the back of the net. And so does Aubameyang. And we walk out here with a 2-0 win in the, in here. And then Leonardo Bonucci actually we did take him. And they want 16 is like 10 or 6 10.6 mil for him so that's really ridiculous for a center back but i i guess subatich is yeah a lot and then there's jefferson farfan that we've signed him he's on the he's on the dortmund side we've taken him right out of the hands of shock and we hope to Really, I hope we, he really turns out into something good for the Dortmund side. Also, I was really... I just forgot. I was almost about to 
to get to uh, try to look for uh, what's his face Andre Sherl, but he's gone to Chelsea, so there's no chance of getting him. But we took play Celta Vigo, and that's pretty much how this video is gonna end. Thank you guys for watching this video. Come back next time. It's the Gamerization. Sign out. Subscribe. The next video is probably gonna be some NCAA 13. We actually lose to Celta Vigo. Disgrace. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Gamerization. Subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.